Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. For this video, I wanted to do an updated curly hair routine for myself and also my three-year-old daughter, Zaya. We use a lot of the same products and I pretty much do the same steps for both of us. So this is going to be our mother-daughter curly hair routine. So this video isn't sponsored or anything, but lately I've been trying out some new products for both of us. And I really like these Kiss Argan and Macadamia products for both of our hair. I like the fact that they're sulfate-free, paraben-free, organic, all that stuff, which is what I look for in curly hair products and I really like the fact that the bottles come with pumps so they're easier to use. So for this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do a wash and go for both of us. I am starting off with these pigtail braids because that's how I had my hair braided up underneath a wig that I was wearing and Zaya is starting off with just her little hairstyle that she was wearing to school. Zaya is going to need a full shampoo and condition because her hair gets dirty at school playing outside and stuff. For me I had actually just shampooed my hair before I I put the wig on that I was wearing so I don't need to shampoo it again I'm actually just going to be doing a co-wash but the first step for both of us is to just take down our hair so I'm taking my hair down from my braids taking Zaya's hair down running my fingers through it kind of finger combing it and making sure that I fluff it out and separate it as much as possible before I wet it Then of course I just need to completely wet our hair down and a tip that I like to use for both of us is to finger comb as I go. So on pretty much every step of the washing process I continue to finger comb through the hair just to make sure that I'm kind of like detangling as I go. I don't want to let the hair get all tangled up as I'm washing it and then be left with a huge matted mess by the time I get done washing it so I try to just detangle as I go. Then like I said for Zaya's hair she is going to get a full shampoo so I'm using the Kiss Argan and Macadamia shampoo and just going to lather her hair up and make sure her scalp and everything gets nice and clean. I also would follow these same steps on myself if it was time for me to shampoo my hair but like I said I don't need another shampoo just yet so I'm just going to be doing a co-wash on myself so I'm skipping the shampoo for me but for her I definitely want to make sure I get her hair nice and clean. I feel like for me I can get away with not shampooing as often because I'm not playing outside and running and jumping and getting sweaty like she is so for her I tend to shampoo up to two times a week for me I probably do it once a week and then when I rinse the shampoo out I always like to make sure that I do a final rinse with clean water from the faucet to make sure that I'm really rinsing it so for me since I skipped the shampoo I'm going straight in with their co-wash product which is just basically meant to cleanse your hair a little bit but mainly just condition it so it's kind of like a tiny bit of shampoo mixed with mostly conditioner is basically how I think of it so this is nice instead of just doing a full shampoo because that can kind of dry your hair out if you shampoo it too much so I'm just using this product only and then for Zaya since I did just shampoo her hair of course I want to go in with conditioner next so I'm just using their regular straight up conditioner for her I just kind of wanted to show you guys all three of these products just to show you kind of what the options are depending on what's going on with our hair that day I might need to just do a co-wash or I might need to do a full shampoo and condition on either of us just depending on what's going on so for both of us the next step would be to actually start detangling with a comb whether it's the co-wash or the actual conditioner that's in our hair I like to go ahead and detangle with the products still in our hair while our hair is still soaking wet because it's just way easier to detangle it that way so I just make sure to comb through it starting at the ends and working my way up until it is fully detangled and then of course rinse all of the product out with clear water for Zaya since she's in the bathtub I like to use clear water from the faucet for me I'm in the shower so you know either way and then we are done the hair is clean and conditioned and detangled and it is time to get out and actually start styling so the next product I would use for both of us is from the same kiss argan and macadamia line it is their leave-in conditioner when it comes to styling both of our curly hair I always pretty much start with some type of leave-in conditioner just to make sure that I'm moisturizing the hair so I apply a generous amount of that so I'm just kind of raking it and combing it through the hair as well as kind of like squeezing it in to the hair if that makes sense and making sure to apply most of it towards the ends of the hair next I like to take that same wide tooth comb and just comb through the hair one more time just to make sure that it is fully detangled next I'm going in with this Camille Rose curl maker jelly and this is basically just like a gel to help define our curls and actually add some hold to our hair and for my hair I only use about 
one pump of this product because my hair is actually kind of fine and it easily gets weighed down by products like this but for Zaya's hair her hair is actually a lot thicker than mine so I use about two to three pumps of this product on her and then it's time to go in with the handy dandy Denman brush so I always like to use the Denman brush method just to smooth out the curls and help clump them together and get like a more defined look I just feel like it works really well for our hair texture my hair texture is a little bit looser and like I said finer and thinner than Zaya's hair her hair is a little thicker and she has tighter coils but I still feel like the Denman brush works for both of us so basically what I'm doing is running the Denman brush through a section of the hair which smooths out the hair and clumps it together nicely and then you take your hand and scrunch it back up to kind of encourage the curls to curl back up and it's basically just supposed to create like more of a perfect curl for Zaya I always like to include some sort of extra little ponytail in the front or braids or something just so that her hair is not just all over the place or in her face so I'm just creating these two little pigtails in the front just to add like a cute little touch all I'm doing is creating a little diagonal part to make like a little triangle section using a small rubber band to tie it off and then using the dim and brush to kind of coil up that piece of hair and make like a nice little perfect curl in the front Next, I'm using a t-shirt to towel dry, or I guess t-shirt dry our hair. A t-shirt works a lot better because it's a smoother texture rather than a regular towel, which has that fluffy texture, which just kind of agitates and frizzes up your hair. So a t-shirt helps a lot more if you're trying to prevent frizz. And I'm just doing this because our hair was soaking wet from washing it and adding a bunch of product to it. So if I didn't do this, it would take forever for our hair to dry. And I also feel that scrunching up the hair with the t-shirt helps to form the curls as well. And then as a finishing product, I'm using this spray oil from Weedad. It's a curl treatment oil which doubles as a heat protecting spray. So I like to spray this on before I use my blow dryer just because even though I am just diffusing on a low heat setting with the blow dryer, that is still adding heat to your hair. So I do like to use that oil as a heat protectant first. Plus it smells really good and it makes your hair shiny so it's a nice product to use as a finishing product. Like I said, when I diffuse, I like to use it on a low setting. For me, I like to make sure that I'm flipping my head over and really trying to add a lot of volume to my hair. For Zaya, I'm mostly just doing it to speed up the drying process if we have somewhere to be. But most of the time, I really do just like to let both of our hair air dry. So once our hair is completely dry, whether it be air drying or using the blow dryer with the diffuser, I like to spray a little bit more oil onto my hands and then go ahead and separate some of the curls because some of the curls clump up together a lot and I like to separate them especially on my hair to give me some more volume because my hair is a little bit thinner and then on Zaya's hair I'm just kind of separating it and fluffing it up to fix the shape and make it look cute. As a finishing touch for Zaya since I did put those ponytails in the front of her hair I'm using a little bit of this Cantu edge gel and a little edge brush which I got on Amazon I can link it down below for you guys I really like this little edge brush it has like a little comb on one side and a brush on the other side so you don't have to use a toothbrush and it works really well so I'm just laying down her little edges she always asks me to make sure that I do her baby hair so I like to do that for her and then of course for her I can add like a cute little bow or something like that she has a big drawer full of bows and headbands and stuff so I usually just let her pick something out so yeah that is our updated wash and go routine I've really been working on trying to simplify this process and cut down on the amount of products and steps just so I can get both of us ready to leave the house a lot faster and easier so I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful for you you or your little one if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we will see you guys in the next video bye